Hi all, I wanted to make a quick video on support and resistance and an indicator that I have been working on last couple of days and I really think it's one of the good indicators that I've come across when it comes to support and resistance it's based on WD Gans uh, mathematics alright so before I begin I would like to mention that this is an educational channel all content over here is for the sake of education Kindly read the disclaimer that you see on the screen and in the description below. With that said, let's proceed. So let's straight away go to our charts. For the ease of explanation, I'm currently on Bank Nifty spot chart. I'm using the three minute time frame. I will use three minutes, then probably one minute, but eventually I'll shift to five minutes and show you the how I use it on a five minute time frame because I primarily trade on five minutes. All right. But while I'm explaining, I'm going to use this three minutes time frame. So this indicator is called MM lines in short. And when you do a search, it'll come up like this. This is the one. JLR Murray Maths line. This is the one, not this. All right. If you use this, something else will come up. We don't want that. So I'll even take this out from here. There are a lot of indicators based on uh, this uh, lines, Morel lines, but we are going to be using the Morel math lines. And the creator is JRL underscore six. This is the one marked with the star over here. All right. So this is the one that we are going to be using. All right. I've clicked it one more time. I don't need this just to show that this is the one. So once you click on this, it'll come up on your screen like this. This is not how it actually comes. I will click uh, over here and say reset settings and I'll click OK. So this is how it will look once you use it on its default settings or the first time you use it it'll look like this all right so the first thing that we will do is just for the sake of some clarity the first thing that we will do is we'll go to style and we'll just click on labels and values at the bottom let's untick these and click on okay all right so that it looks a little cleaner this little less information otherwise it is writing on the right hand side and giving you too much information all of that is not required before i start explaining this indicator in detail let's read a little bit about this indicator i've already kept another page open about the script once you do this will come up and i just wanted to read this section so what i've done is on this page i've got this i've called this snr and on the next page i've got the same thing in split screen SNR copy. So I'll be reading from this screen and we will see what it's trying to tell us. This is one of the best support and resistance indicators that I've come across. All right. So let's read a little. So the first thing that you will do is you will, for the time being, you don't need it in the future, but for the time being, you will go to inputs and from this closest, you will tell all. Once you tell all, it will start showing you this. See, it was like this. Once you tell all, it will show you all the labels. Just before we start going into great detail, we will keep all on. We are not going to be making any input changes to this indicator. We are going to be using it exactly the way it comes. All right. So no input changes, no style changes, no nothing. But we have kept it at all because it tries to tell us something so let's first try and see what it's going to try and tell us all right so murray math lines are support and resistance line based on geometric mathematical formulas developed by t i don't know who t is anyways h murray mm lines are a derivation of the observations of wd gun wd gun uh, there are a lot of indicators based on wd gun you can read up on wd gun if you want to I have done in the past so you can do that as well but for now we will just surface touch base on this indicator and what it's trying to tell us so 
अगेन मोरे एम एम लाइन आर डेरिवेशन ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ डब्ल्यू डी गान मोरे ज्योमेट्री फेसिलिटेट द यूज ऑफ डब्ल्यू डी गान्स थियोरीज इन समवॉट ईजियर एप्लीकेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू गान्स थियोरी प्राइस टेंड टेंड्स टू ट्रेंड एंड रिट्रेस इन वन एथ इंटरवल्स द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम एम लाइन्स आर द जीरो बाय एट फोर बाय एट and 8 by 8 levels which typically provide strong support and resistance points all right this is now a very important point the most important mm lines are 0 by 8 4 by 8 and 8 by 8 now let's look at this chart and see where is 0 by 8 4 by 8 and 8 by 8 it is this blue lines 0 by 8 this is the 4 by 8 and this is the 8 by 8 all right so it's trying to tell us that the most important lines for that day is the 0 by 8 4 by 8 and 8 by 8 it's also marked on this indicator with blue dotted lines in bold so that it's visible all right it's going to show us the upper mid and the upper and lower boundaries for that day then it states that the 3 by 8 and 5 by 8 levels represent the low and high of the typical trading range so where is 3 by 8 and 5 by 8 so this is 3 by 8 this is a center line this is 3 by 8 and this is 5 by 8 all right so basically this the trending range is this that's the cream the center of that particular day all right that is the trending range again the most uh, what is it? the 3 by 8 and 5 by 8 levels are the low and high of the typical trending range all right so this is the trending range for that day it is actually the center for that day the core all right i hope you understood that next it says states uh when price is above the typical trading range it is considered overbought and when it is below it is considered oversold the 2 by 8 and 6 by 8 provide strong pivot points so where is 2 by 8 this is 2 by 8 and this is 6 by 8 it's talking about 2 by 8 and 6 by 8 right so first it told us that this is the core 5 by 8 and 3 by 8 is the core now 2 by 8 is just outside the core at the bottom and 6 by 8 is just outside the core on top all right some other mure math line on trading view use different formulas and therefore produce varying results i have checked my indicator against mm indicators on other platform and it is consistent with those indicators this indicator also allows users to switch to alternate time frames for analysis and it includes labels for mm lines if you have any suggestions or comment please leave them below cheers so whoever has created this has written all of this and then lot of people have commented how they have benefited from this indicator all right lot of good comments are there a very nice script but a bit heavy on cpu I mean, it's okay. I mean, my CPU is moderately powerful. Great indicator. Really well done, especially the changing lines based on real-time price action. All right. So, what it's trying to tell us is it's it's working on real-time basis. Best time frame for Indian market. So, somebody from India has mentioned that it's really great for Indian markets. All right. All right. So, so now that we have read all of this. i would suggest you read this part two three times and go to the chart and refer what it's trying to tell you all right so what is trying to tell you is these blue lines are the, are very important uh for that day this is going to be the core and this 6 by 8 and this 2 by 8 are also very important because they are just outside the core all right so let's delete all of this and see how we shall use it so we we'll close this also on this page is more like how i would use it i'll slowly build this page also in a similar fashion and tell you how i'm going to use it all right so now that we know that where are the levels and you have done little bit of reading you know this 4 by 8 is the center 5 by 8 is th and 3 by 8 is just outside the center and 2 by 8 and 6 by 8 is just outside again you don't need to memorize all this bottom line is once you start using it you will realize how to look at this chart so we can again go and we can say that only show the real closed ones we don't need to see everything so it will just show you 3 by 8 4 by 8 actually you 
don't even need this at this point of time all right this is enough it shows you the center and then you can just work your way around the center all right so now this indicator is on it's all in all its glory next what we will use is vwap as you all know vwap is very important for me in my view when the price is above vwap i consider it bullish and below vwap i consider it bearish and i think in my view that price keeps uh, trying to go away from vwap and then again comes to vwap whether on top or at the bottom it always keeps trying to touch base with vwap again and again so i use vwap on its default settings and i've just shown you the setting i don't change anything in input on the style section i just use this vwap and everything else is unticked this vwap on the one and i use the color white that is my vwap setting the next indicator that we will use is cmem a trend bars one of my favorites again i'm not using i have not made anything to the input changes nothing in the style section i'm just using it for bar colors i'm not even using it for trend line if you click on this it will show you its own trend line which also works it really works all right but i am not using it at this point of time i'm going to use the vwap as more of a uh, center line instead of this but i will use the bar colors because it gives me some amount of clarity with that you are free to use the ema also if you want all right so apart from bar colors for me cm ema trend bars nothing else is used and at the bottom i'm using ema defense scotch again i use this indicator on a day to day basis my subscribers know i use this it is by wugam low and uh, it's one of my favorite indicators ema difference histogram and stochastic indicator by wugam low it's one of the best bottom indicators that i've come across so how would i use it on a day to day basis i would use this mm lines whether you want to see the uh, uh all the uh labels or not this labels or not is your prerogative all right you want to keep it on or you want to keep everything none all the labels will go away let's use it without the labels apart from that we shall not make any other changes the only other change that we have made is labels on the style section labels on price scales and values on st in status line we have unticked and we will save this as default save as default so every time i use this it will come up like this vwap i told you cma ema trend bars i told you and ema dim uh defense coach i have told you now i shall switch to the five minute time frame you see again how you are using the page is very important on my page scale to price chart this line when you right click the scale to price chart is always ticked i will split the screen all right and on the left hand side i will have nifty spot and on the right hand side i'll have Nif bank nifty spot i will keep the page like this i'll make sure both the pages on 5 minute time frame i'll reset this also all right and this is how i would be using it in fact i would be using the futures chart because i think futures is more important when it comes to even options when it, when you're day trading and the other problem with spot chart is if you are using it for mid cap and fin nifty the vwap will not show you can see on the left hand side if i click spot mid cap nifty and on the right hand side if i click spot fin nifty mid cap the vwap line disappears but if i choose the futures chart of mid cap the vwap line appears and if i choose the futures chart of uh, fin nifty the the vwap line appears so that's a problem with vwap it's always been like that uh, i don't know why it's like that all right so for the time being for the sake of simplicity let's use the nifty futures and bank nifty futures on the right this is how i would be using this a very simple uh format yesterday as you know a lot of people will know yesterday was a uh it was not a trending day it was a range bound day but again you see with what amount of clarity this indicator is showing you that this is the center line for that day all right this is the center line for that day on the screen you don't even see the upper and lower boundaries for nifty because the range is so tight all right the vwap line is showing you where the center point is and 
above this and below this you know this will be the immediate center range for that day and this is the upper top lower top closest to that center range same is the case with bank nifty this is the core around the center blue line and then this is the upper top and this is the lower bottom of that core and you will see that nifty and bank nifty was just touching the upper boundaries and lower boundaries and trying to stay as close to the center as possible it was trying to break up upwards but again and again failing all right so use this and you will find that once you start using this you don't actually need much data and stuff to trade just vwap along with uh, the uh, the uh, mm lines which is showing you support and resistance for the day ema trend bars to just show you bar colors and then ema defense scotch at the bottom i think these four indicators are enough to trade yes you can go on adding separate set of indicators uh, on my uh, membership channel i've given a, a you know advanced page setup which really works in my view uh, if you want to see that then kindly take the membership uh, i will be making membership if in fact i was thinking of making even this video only for members but then i thought you know i would not be justifying my normal subscribers who have been with me for such a long time so this video is for everybody uh, even though i think the content in this is very important but this is free for everybody to use all right so i hope this video benefits you you see the simplicity of these support and resistance lines and how it's been derived uh the logic behind it and start using it paper trade with it see the benefits you can add your own indicators if you want to this for instance i can you know make it even better everybody knows that i am i'm a big fan of juric moving average my settings are 21 for juric all right uh yeah 21 whenever i click on juric it by default comes with 21 because I've saved it like that and this is my setting fluorescent bold red uh, my green is on fluorescent green uh, thickness is 2 red thickness is 4 purple thickness is 4 this is how I use it so maybe you can also use the juric lines I'll apply this to the entire set it'll look like this depends you can add anything you want you want to add juric add juric uh, sometimes I use sm SMM, the smoother moving average 7 was my earlier favorite before I found Juric. And you will find that it's very similar to Juric. The only thing is Juric changes color, showing you uh, positive and negative. SMM, SMMA 7 uh, does not show you. My settings for this is 7. And uh, I use the thickness 2 with blue. You can use this also if you want. You will see that it's very similar to juric uh and uh price tends to be bullish and bearish above and below this smma7 also so use it with any anything that you feel like is good for you whether it is smma7 or juric moving average uh, i will just keep the core of it and i've shared the core of this to you with you and i hope it helps you you know in your trading journey all right so another very good indicator for support and resistance i've shown you how the page is to be set up on the five minutes time frame use it see the benefits of this uh in your trading journey i'll end the video over here thank you so much for watching if you found the video useful to you in any way then please like and subscribe to the channel share the video with your family and friends leave a nice comment if possible please give the video a thumbs up that really helps the channel grow subscribe to our free telegram channel as well the link is given in the description in all our videos i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye